matches lead up to live up to the what and, they should be. Well, the advanced billing has been, yeah. <laughs> we've been looking forward to these matches. They've been some, well, they've been some surprises, I think, this afternoon. Some have gone true to form, and some have been uh, a little bit surprising. But here's two very tough, very worthy competitors, and a, no pun intended, Taylor Worth of Australia coming out to compete for the bronze medal. Taylor representing Australia. This past week, he beat Luis Alvarez 6-2, to two, then lost in three sets to the Frenchman, Pierre Clion, who we shall see momentarily. Good look at Taylor Worth. The Aussie who almost picked up a medal this morning and, well, actually did pick up a medal in team competition. Excuse me. Yep, they got the silver. They got the silver. He was on the silver medal team for Australia. And here's Rick van der Ven who picked up a bronze medal in team competition as the Netherlands defeated Ukraine 6-2. to two. But two of the best young archers in the business. It'll be interesting to see if there's any advantage gained by Rick winning the bronze and Taylor losing to gain the silver. Both of them have field information. This should be an absolutely tightness match. I believe Rick van der Ven won the Indoor World Cup this year. Actually, that was uh, Ryan Tyak. No. That oh, was I'm sorry. I'm thinking Championships. of the World Championships. Yes. Taylor Worth represents the last of the top eight of the gentlemen from the ranking round. He's ranked sixth coming into this. So Rick Vander 10 in the center ring to start off the match. And Taylor in the eight ring. Taylor almost didn't make it. His plane touched down, I believe, at 635 the morning of the ranking round. And it's a long way from the airport to Yuan Shen Stadium. But he was the first one at the stadium. They did, they picked up his luggage and went straight to the stadium. He'd forgotten that... Uh, Must have been going against the traffic, yes. the rush hour traffic. He'd forgotten that Good Friday was a holiday in Australia when he went to pick up his Chinese visa. Aha. Uh -huh. He's good 10, so he's done spectacularly well for having flown for probably close to 11 hours before jumping onto a field, ranking sixth, and then being very, very consistent through the matches. This is a great match so far from Rick as well, though. Taylor with a chance to tie it up. Needs another 10. He's a he's a very calm competitor. Ten. There's a 10. Very close, but it looks like he caught the line. He, uh, he was looking for where that arrow landed before he finished shooting it. His eyes had flicked down to those television monitors in front of them. He's a solid competitor. He's been in this sort of level of competition several times before. Great 18th in the world, finished second at the Australian Open recently. His streak of wins against Brady Ellison ending in Nîmes during the bronze medal match at the Indoor World Championships. But he has been a factor on the world scene these last few years. Finished seventh in Bellic last fall at the World Championships and was ninth in London at the Olympics. So they do give the two set points to Rick Vanderven. Are they really? High score, it is a split set. Oh, they did split it, yeah. all right. There's the official announcement. I had to listen to the announcer for that. <laughs> so that last shot by Taylor Worth on the line, counted as a 10. Which means we stay at the original shooting order. Rick is leading out with those trademark Bow fingers pointing straight towards the ground. Works very, very well for him. Good X. Got it working all right. Rick Vanderven. Wind's picking up slightly. Keeping these guys on their toes. Ten. Nice 10. Shaping up as one of the best matches we've seen all day. Gained a lot of mouth movement. We noticed that in the Japanese woman, uh, Kato. He 
just settles in and his mouth is nice and relaxed. His whole face is nice and relaxed. Nine. For a nine. Five. All even, 19 apiece. Can't see it very clearly because he's left-handed, but you can see Rick's mouth slightly working. Nice. And there you see those Steady fingers you were talking back. about pointed down. A little bit of work to get it through the clicker. Oh, but it works. Well, and the important thing there was it never tracked forward. The arrow was just stopping, a little bit of jittery, but it was always coming back. Now there's pressure on Taylor Worth, as if there wasn't pressure oh, enough. Me. That's not going to do it. A little shaky, and it's a nine, and so that set definitely goes to Rick Vanderven of the Netherlands. The nine was a good score for that shot. So must be there was because a lot of issues. He was starting to really tremble under the clicker. How many pounds are these guys pulling back? Likely nearly 50. Don't know exactly. But somewhere in that ballpark? Should be about that. That's what most of the top shooters these days are, are drawing. Uh, some are as high as 57-ish. I think there are a few closer to 46. But on average, from what I hear around the tables, it's about 50 pounds. So these guys getting a workout, no question about that. An average, an average training day would be about seven and a half tons. What do you shoot, 200, 300 arrows about a day? 300 arrows yeah. a day. Try doing this about 300 times a day. That'll build up those back and shoulder muscles. Indeed, if you do it right. Oh dear. Oh. He's slowly been drifting out to the right. Needs to, needs to catch that, figure out what's going on. Ooh, a lot of wobble in the bow there. Still got a ten out of it. <laughs> it's a bottom line business. Doesn't matter how you put them there, as long That's as they right. end up there. As long as they get there. So again, the pressure applied to Taylor Worth oh. comes back with a better oh. shot, but Emil, check your side. He's still in, in trouble in this set. He's gonna need some help from Rick. I don't think he's going to get it. Rick is too practiced a competitor. Also, look at that group. Was that five or six arrows out to just out to the right? If he just drop his sight a tiny little bit, those would all be tens. A little bit down, a little bit right. Rick is very much out shooting Taylor right now. And that's the set almost guaranteed. Things coming undone for Taylor Worth. As Rick Vanderven. Oh dear, that didn't look great. That's good enough. It's good enough for the man who defeated Brady Ellison in a five-set match this week here in China, then took the fifth and deciding set, 28-27, before losing the fifth set to Kikuchi Hideki of Japan, whom we'll see in a moment in the gold medal match. But Rick Vanderven has been tough. He is tested. He's come through the wars. A guy who has held all four European titles at one time or another, the outdoor and the indoor individual and team champion titles, arguably the top male re recurve archer in Europe right now. I'd buy that. And one of the top in the world. By well, having won the Indoor World Cup, uh, represented him quite handily, himself quite handily in several major events. He's absolutely one of the top shooters on the planet. He's got the stealth shots there. They're a bit of an interesting new technology. Is it Taylor Worth him? trying to fight back? Nice. There's a good 10, yes. It's if easy. Taylor Worth can win these next two sets, then we go to a shoot-off. And we all know that I love watching a shoot-off. Rick Vanderbilt doing his best to make sure that doesn't happen, though. Keep shooting 10s, there will be no shoot-off. Taylor cannot afford to split. Taylor needs to win these sets. Ray, good good ten. There we are. Sensational Excellent. shooting for Taylor Worth. Put it on the line for Taylor and he'll respond. So Vander Van, who beat Im Dong Hyun of South Korea in London at the Five. Olympics. Oh dear. Three. With his first errant shot of the match. He struggled on that one, you can see it. So the advantage 
on the side of Taylor Worth, who needs this set. It's an eight. eight. Oh, he's Ooh, left the door open. Yep. Rick needs a ten. Ten wins it. Ten wins the game. Yep. Ten splits the set. Gives Vanderven the one point he needs. Can he get it? No. no. Outside in the nine ring. <laughs> and we carry on. Not a game of inches. No. It's much closer than that. And much farther. Yes. It's millimeters from meters. So Taylor Worth survives, wins the set, and makes it a 5-3 match in favor of Rick Vanderven, but he's still alive yeah. <laughs> and still smiling. <laughs> he says what, me worry? <laughs> he and Alfred E. Newman. Yes. I'm glad somebody gets the references. That's good. 5-3, your score, Rick Vanderven who came very close to winning an Olympic bronze medal, lost to Dai Zhao Zhang in a shoot-off in London. But one of the best in the business. Okay, so Taylor just needs to have more of what he had at the beginning of the last set. And still it's a need-to-win scenario. Nice calm shot. Nine a bit low. Hello, very good. See what Rick does with this opportunity. You can see his mouth. I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't know if it's conscious. A lot of activity there. Again, Taylor Worth cannot afford to split. No, we can't. Cannot he afford needs to, to win split. This outright. He Trading needs lows with Rick Vanderven will not get the job done. Another nine, which is a good shot. It's a good shot, but every time he shoots a nine, it Open. Creates an opportunity for Vanderven. It just, it just makes it a little bit easier for Rick. He's not looking Bye. terribly happy with his shots just right now. Ten right here for Taylor Worth puts the pressure on Vanderven. This is pretty much a must ten. Got it. There it is. Got it. Comes through in the That's clutch. A terrific shot under pressure. So now he's forced Rick. Again, 10 to win. Anything less, and we're going there to a shoot is. off, but Rick forget the shoot it. off. Holy <laughs> There's cow. your shoot off right there. That's a fantastic, yep, that's a good end. Boy, that is a big, big shot by Rick Vanderven. Big smile on his face, and a smile on the face of Taylor Worth as well, who really competed well, competed hard, and made Rick Vanderven earn that victory. Yes, he did. Yes, that was a, a good final set. That was a great match to watch. It was exciting. It was close. Six to four in favor of Rick at the end. That was a great match. So a bronze medal for Rick Vanderven of the Netherlands to go along with the bronze medal that he and his teammates captured this morning here in Shanghai. So a pair of victories, a pair of medals in the pocket of Rick Vanderven and a lot of respect to Taylor Worth, who fell behind in that match five to one, really battled back strong. For sure he did. That's, uh, that's good shooting. You always expect good shooting from those guys. I, I kind of expected that to be a dogfight. I think the real dog 